Hello everyone and welcome to Piano Val. This is Emma Newman. In this series of videos, I'm going to show you how imagination and singing affect our piano playing and helps overcome some technical problems that cannot be solved by traditional way of practicing. We need to develop uh, muscles of fingers in the palm of our hand uh, to control better touch and tone. That will also help us to keep our hand more relaxed as um, to express all the uh, nuances of dynamics, articulations, phrasing in the form of music. We wouldn't tense all our body or hand we would just play it and keep it in the muscles of our fingers and the palm. It also benefits our good fluent technique because you wouldn't need to lift up your fingers very high um, and everything will be in small movements of muscles over here. And basically you can play very fast, uh, absolutely evenly, doing not this motion, but this motion. Yes. <laughs> so we're playing on the keyboard not with fingers over here, but with fingers over there. <laughs> Now, on the other side, when they try to relax their hand, they would automatically relax their fingers and so they couldn't control uh, the evenness and quality of tone. And even the very sensation of strong muscles of fingers wouldn't be accurate in students' interpretation uh, because they simply don't know how it feels. <laughs> so, even though all the uh, exercises for developing strange of in independence of fingers might be very helpful if, if they are done correctly, they also might be very harmful if a student uh, does not um, use muscles of fingers in the palm but instead start over tense his wrist and hand. The same thing, by the way, with lifting up fingers too high, even though, uh, yes, in order to achieve louder and more powerful sound, we would naturally lift up fingers more, again, uh, if 
uh, this movement is done with not correct um, energy, with uh, with not not with the with the muscles in the palm of your hand, then it also can be very harmful. Uh, you need to be very careful about how you do those exercises. <laughs> so now, how you develop these special sensations? So you develop your finger muscles in your palm that lets you play with loose hands and yet control every finger and play with good quality tongue by feeling the energy of resistance between notes while singing. <laughs> so when I'm talking about resistance feeling, it's mostly like when you would move your hand in the water, not in the air, which is quite easy, but in the water. And sometimes I even ask my students to, to create this resistance with another hand a little bit to feel it better. So how does it sound? sing two notes with movement to the right, with glissando. That would be if I sing it without any resistance, moving my hand in the air. Now, this is how it sounds when I sing with resistance. And exactly this resistance would control how we exert fingers while playing. So why we would consider if uh, something affects our singing, that would affect our play. Because the energy of breathing between notes while singing directly affects the energy of finger muscles and actually our whole body. So that's why more resistance I make while singing, better I control my fingers while playing. Now let's see how our singing would affect our playing. So I'm going to imagine two notes with glissando in the timbre of cellos, for example. And while playing, I'm going to sing like I just sang internally. So I would feel the same resistance, the same uh, breath between notes, but I wouldn't... Um, make any sound. So this internal singing we call intonation. <laughs> and intonation is the basic of everything. So it's the basic of good, correct tone production. So I bring my relaxed hand to the keyboard, I will start playing and I'm moving my wrist the same direction and at the same time I'm going to sing with resistance and while singing This resistance would somehow affect the muscle of my finger in my palm, so it will start exerting following my intonation. And if I sing in slow tempo or if I sing in the fast tempo, that's how I can control every single finger. That's why everything would be played evenly, easily and super controlled by my singing. So this is how I play, for example, without singing. Just move. Now with intonation. It brings so much additional freedom to my wrist. My wrist like singing together with me. That's what I call the when the wrist is alive. So it will never, it will have some healthy tension, but it will never have a healthy dead tension in, in it. <laughs> That's it. It's that simple. And in my next video, I will share with you how to develop this free energy within your body to play with arm weight, and most importantly, how to sustain this feeling and energy while playing. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.